on the day of the making of this video. 4 out of top 5 Linux distributions on distrowatch.com are based on Ubuntu including Ubuntu itself. While Ubuntu is a great base to build a Linux distro on, there is a huge challenge if you want to use Ubuntu as a base for your Linux distro. You see, Ubuntu already is a very popular Linux distro which also has some impressive child distros like Linux Mint. So if you are already using this amazing base then what are you bringing to the table matters. What I mean is, for an Ubuntu based Linux distro to succeed, it should have its own uniquely impressive aspect. Elementary OS is one such distro which managed to dominate the Linux world. What's get up, this is Linux Dex. Elementary OS and Ubuntu both have a huge user base. Millions of users use these two distros and are passionate about them. They have their own pros and cons. But which among them is the best? Which among them is more suitable for you? Ubuntu or Elementary OS? Let's find out. So today, I will be comparing Ubuntu 18.04 and Elementary OS 5.0 Juno side by side and in depth. Jumping in, let's begin with the user interface. Elementary OS comes with its own homegrown Pantheon desktop environment. Pantheon desktop environment is the biggest reason for Elementary's popularity explosion. Pantheon is ridiculously good looking and it's very simple to use. The desktop is minimal but provides a very familiar approach to both Linux users and Mac users. You carry out most of your work from the bottom dock. Your favorite applications are pinned here. You can search for other apps in the application menu on the top left. The application menu has two layouts. One is search oriented while the other one is category wise display of the applications installed. But the workflow on elementary OS could have been a lot better. The window controls are horribly placed with the close button on the top left and the maximize button on the top right. And there is no minimize button. The super or the windows button calls this info overlay instead of invoking the application menu by default. Elementary OS looks really good, but these details affect the usage experience very badly. Ubuntu on the other hand has a heavily customized GNOME desktop. The GNOME desktop is customized to look like the traditional Unity desktop of Ubuntu. Ubuntu's GNOME desktop has its own workflow. The desktop is very modern and looks really good. The overall look and feel of the OS is impressive. The theming is gorgeous and a wide range of amazing wallpapers are included by default. Ubuntu's desktop has a ton of extensions already added and customized so the users can get on with their work immediately. This is a rather subjective point so I will give both the distros a point each in the user interface department. Next, we'll be having a look at the performance of the two operating systems. Elementary OS and Ubuntu both are pretty much the same engine under the hood. Ubuntu itself comes with a pretty heavy desktop. Elementary although has a very bloat free system does give a comparatively lower performance on lower end hardware. This is mainly because Elementary's desktop has animations and transitions that are pretty demanding as per resources are concerned. My advice would be to install Elementary only if you have a decently powerful graphics card on your PC. On higher end PCs, both Ubuntu and Elementary have a similar performance. Gaming too gives a similar performance. In the performance round, Ubuntu takes the point home. Ubuntu is a really solid operating system with a trust that it has built over a decade. Ubuntu is the choice of the professionals. It is deployed on servers which cannot afford a downtime of even a couple of seconds. And as for desktops, I use Ubuntu for all my development work and I must say, Ubuntu has been dependable and reliable 100% of times. A long term support version of Ubuntu has a lifetime of 5 years, which is generally more than enough. And since elementary OS is Ubuntu under the hood, the same stability can be experienced on it too. So both elementary OS and Ubuntu get a point each. Out of all the Linux distributions, Ubuntu has the highest support from software vendors. Almost any software created for Linux will be available for installation on Ubuntu in a convenient, quick and trustworthy way. This advantage of Ubuntu cannot be stressed enough. And the software that are not available in the official Ubuntu repositories are brought to you through the use of PPAs. PPAs are maintained by the software developers or the maintainers themselves, which you can generally trust and install from. Elementary OS has its own software delivery portal called the App Center. Personally, I love the App Center. Along with all the software that comes from the Ubuntu repositories, App Center offers its own curated software. Now these are pay what you want software, but they are definitely worth the price tag. These curated software are really impressive and have a modern approach. There are a ton of amazing software here. App Center definitely earns Elementary OS a point. 
Ubuntu and Elementary OS both are great choices for gaming. Ubuntu is officially supported by Steam and since Elementary is Ubuntu based, Steam and Steam games run just fine on it too. As far as gaming is concerned, Elementary and Ubuntu are pretty much the same and there isn't anything gaming related that will give one an advantage over the other. Ubuntu and Elementary both get a point each for gaming on Linux. Ubuntu has a simple and straightforward installation. Even the most complex of operations are represented in an easy to understand and beginner friendly way. You can install Ubuntu in under 15 minutes and if you need any help installing Ubuntu, the link to the step by step guide video is given in the description of this video. Once the installation is done, installing the drivers for your graphics card and other drivers is really simple on Ubuntu. A few clicks here and there and Ubuntu installs the optimal drivers for your hardware automatically. Elementary OS 2 has the same easy installation procedure as Ubuntu. But when it comes to driver installation, Elementary OS fails miserably. Now all the Ubuntu based distros inherit the easy to use driver installer from Ubuntu. But Elementary OS developers have put in the extra work to remove that feature. I can't even begin to understand why they would do that. And Elementary OS already has heavy graphics need just for its desktop animations and effects. To install proprietary drivers on Elementary OS, you need to first install the driver installer from Ubuntu repositories using the terminal and then you can continue with the driver installation. In the installation and configuration department, Ubuntu wins by a huge margin. Ubuntu has one of the best documentation and any issue you might face are easily solved by following the beginner friendly guides on the Ask Ubuntu forums. The community is very friendly and the solutions are highly accessible and easy to follow. And even if you have a question that is not already answered, community members prove to be very helpful. The community is one of the biggest strengths of Ubuntu. Now pretty much all of the Ubuntu how-tos and help guides are applicable to elementary OS. But elementary is very different from Ubuntu and I felt that getting help for elementary specific issues can be slightly difficult, especially when a new version is out. My appreciation goes out to the amazing people who put in the effort to make Ubuntu and Elementary OS enjoyable for other people. But only Ubuntu gets the point here. Personally speaking, I think Elementary OS is gorgeous and I love their app center. It's innovating and is definitely getting a lot of love from the community. But it has some really trivial issues which really make the overall experience bad for the users. I'm talking about the horrible window controls and the driver installation hassle. I mean the developers actually brought on these issues and it hurts the workflow and performance. Ubuntu on the other hand has been actively evolving and getting better and better with every iteration. Finally, I love both the distros very much and for me it's very hard to pick a side. But as we have seen throughout this video, there are some areas where Ubuntu might be better than elementary OS for most people. So the winner for today is Ubuntu 18.04. Go ahead and give them a try. The download link for both these distros is given in the description of this video. If you like this video then do hit the red subscribe button below and your comments are always welcome. Well that's it for today. This is Linux Tech signing out.